And as you mentioned books, Ashley, as well, and you, jo with Joseph Campbell. I mean, I haven't mm. read any of Joseph Campbell stuff, but I've listened to him because I can go on YouTube, and probably exactly. people, young, young, young men watching this now, might hate Joseph Campbell. You know, see an old guy from the seventies sat in some chair, he's just talking, and if you stick with it, he will chime on where you're at and where you could be, and it, and it's there, and you can hit. You know, I've done this with Alan Watts and Terence McKenna, and. You know, so many of these guys. I mean, I'm, I've got this book. This book, uh, in fact, where is it? Is it the, C the Secret Teachings of All Ages by Manly nice. P. Hall? Who I've had this book for a long time. It was gifted to me, and I knew a little bit about Manly P. Hall and, and the idea of him being this this guy who's followed symbolism right back. And it's only recently where I've started to listen to his lectures. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think he was born in 1901. This, a lot of this stuff's been found and it's been reconditioned. So you can hear it well, and he's talking about. It is the hero's journey. It's, it's dignity, it's ownership, mm. it's respect, mm. it's simplicity. Mm. And I'm, I've, I've learned so much from podcasts. I mean, podcasts, like books, you know, yeah. especially to be that bridge to the lad in the wolf pack. Mm. You know, mm. someone cool like Mike Tyson, who you mm. think you respect because he's the best boxer. And then you hear him talk for two hours about mm. what it was like when he was a kid, mm. what it was like when he was a customer, mm. what it was like when he was in jail. Mm. And all of a sudden you, you, you get past the kind of ego and the, the, the hierarchical sort of positioning. And mm. then you start to mm. realise, oh, this is a person who's broken as well. And like, and you're, you're privy to it all and, and you're a part of it all. Mm. Pod, the, inf the information is, is it is abundant mm. now and mm. so many of us can access it and mm. we can change the page but you put it beautifully there you know yeah it does mean a lot of the time that we we descend mm. from whatever this thing is we've built you know I am the alpha wolf with mm. my boys and I'm the one who supplies mm. the thing and I'm the party star mm. or I'm the one with the car or whatever the fuck mm. it is if you're willing mm. and you can trust and believe mm. and find some support you can and I feel it from you. Like, I feel that. Like, even as far as I am into the book, listening to you talk in the bits that I've seen, that energy, you've distilled it and it's a fucking, you know, and you're taking it in these prisons. You've forced your way in by the sound of it into these prisons. Absolutely. When you sent me the package, you know, with the, with the stuff, that such a well-produced you can feel the care. I mean, I've made music and I've tried to pay attention to making artwork and packaging mm. things that when you like, when mm. I've sent t-shirts out from this podcast, I package them, I put little label, you know, try, the Ooh, energy of, you know, I found mm. myself ironing these fucking labels and I was thinking, fucking you know, hell, this is taking me ages, you know, mm. for me little podcast, mm. not because I'm making money, not because, because I want someone to get this thing because they've listened to this mm. podcast. I want to gift them this thing and I want them to feel mm. this is coming from somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Like I mm. mean this, and I get that mm. from you abundantly. The, mm. the energy, the the, the 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 love. What's the reward like, Ashley? When you do, when you when you when you set up rise up, mm. you know. And obviously, I didn't realize you had such a history of working within the arts and, mm. and education and helping mm. people anyway. So you obviously had a good confidence, and a, and you had a, a kind of a roadmap, I imagine, in your mind where you could mm. you could see this door open, as you put it. Mm. When you finally did manage to get into the prisons and connect with these guys, and you mm. saw your plan come through, because this is this this twelve step manual is pretty significant. You mentioned it, NLP. You've got mm. when you start to see that come together, and you start to see guys benefiting. Mm. This, that's got to be one of the best rewards mm. there is on the, on the planet. Absolutely, there's dudes that still contact me now. If I've just I just pulled up here that I've got a text from one of the guys who a granddad. He was a granddad when he was in prison, and it was during, he'd tell you himself, he was out now, it was during a Rise Up session, about eight, nine lessons, classes, sessions, into a Rise Up course, that he just stood up and went, I've got to say something. If the penny's just dropped, I've just, I've just realised, I, I didn't get it at first, but I see what you're doing now. I just, I've just had this realisation, this... I, I don't want to be this weird old guy who's in and out of prison anymore. I just want to be a, a dad and a granddad. And that moment, as I say, you know, we still we're, we're, we're in contact regularly now. Um, we send each other messages and stuff. And he's he's out now. Um, he's before lockdown happened. The probation service were training him up to mentor other people. But this guy had been dealing with alcoholism and drug addiction for decades. And in the meantime, I'd had kids and grandkids. And during the Rise Up course, yeah, just 
so, so the, the reward is, you know, the happiest people in the world. So sociological studies will tell you the happiest people in the world are those that work to help other people. Because that's just naturally inbuilt in us. We would not have survived as a species if we didn't have this thing that we have decided to label as love or empathy. If that wasn't part of us, if we weren't able to take the baby and keep it alive, because it's useless when it comes out, isn't it? It's not like, it's not like mm. a, a horse that drops out and it's walking around a few minutes. Like, yeah. It can't do anything for a couple of years. Yeah. So we have to have a real deep empathy and love for us to even survive. And I believe that goes even deeper. I believe empathy and love is just one way of expressing the thing of which we are actually made. As you probably know from reading this stuff, you probably read a bit of quantum physics and that mm. kind of stuff. You know, scientists now agree with the, the ancient mystics. You know, the universe, the scientific fact, the universe is all connected. Every atom in the universe mm -hmm. is in interaction with everything else. Yep. And we don't understand what the stuff is in between the atoms. So we give it these weird terms, dark matter, dark energy, whatever, because dark meaning don't know, mate. We don't know, yeah. <laughs> but it's connected. Mm. And before it started expanding, if you are into science, that way of explaining things, the Big Bang, it was all in a singularity. It was just the same stuff, but there was no space. So I am you. Yeah. I am that tree, that, that camera, mm. that bottle of, what's that, Bailey's cream or whatever yeah. it is. Well, that, that, that's me. <laughs> we have mm. it. Mm. It is us. So therefore we have no option but to empathise with it on a deep level to love it because it is 